Uh, guys, what did USD do offensively? Is it just they just controlled that whole game offensively? And what 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 kind of happened in there? What was it something they're doing offensively or just a breakdown defensively? What, what kind of happened? I'd say um, it was more of a breakdown on defense. Uh, that's something we take pride in, and it wasn't there tonight. Yeah, but I feel the same way. We just um, felt like we didn't have the uh, pop we usually do, and just. Um, couldn't get couldn't get into the rhythm. David, how much of it was just their balance? It seemed like in the first half, uh, Hattie Dorn was getting to you, and then in the second <coughs> half, you guys put some attention on him, but maybe then Amude and uh, uh, Simpson started hurting you after that. Um, yeah, I think um, a lot a lot had to do with communication. We uh, we broke down a lot on defense, just um, communicating and staying with our assignments, and. They did a good job at um, capitalizing on that. Matt, were you happy with how well you guys played offensively, especially with them not being in there? I'd say we did a good enough job on offense. Uh, we scored 84 points, shot like above 50% from the field. Um, on an unusual night, we feel like that's good enough to win a game, especially with how much we emphasize our defense. Um, and overall, yeah, I'd say it was a good night on offense. How did your game change, if at all, uh, with them not being in there? I don't, it didn't change much. We still focused on getting it in um, and playing out of that. That's something we've always tried focusing on the, the entire year. And I'm just playing out of that. Um, obviously, you got to give uh, credit to Coach Lee and his team. They came ready to play. Uh, certainly, Offensively, really uh, <laughs> high-level game on both ends. But uh, on the other end, unfortunately, it's, it's two sides of the basketball, and we certainly weren't very good on the defensive end tonight. Like I told our guys in the locker room, maybe it was partly what we were doing, and I'll take some of that. And then uh, we, we got to also maybe value a defensive stop a little bit more. But certainly proud of our guys' effort. Um, really... You, you know, it, it could have gotten away from us there in the second half, but our guys have a lot of fight. And um, we just couldn't get back-to-back -back stops and, and, and runs defensively, especially, you know, you look at the stat sheet and our, our longest scoring run was six points. And when you're, when you're playing from behind, you got to get a bunch of stops in a row. And, and uh, we just didn't do that tonight. So credit to those guys. And um, we'll, uh, it, it's a long season. It's a long season. So, so we're moving on. And uh, with that, I'll take any questions. And what was the biggest problem defensively? Well, I think, you know, they got off to a hot start shooting the basketball, Zim, and, and um, Hags hit four threes in the first half, and uh, it just got stretched out. And then you saw what happened in the second half. We didn't guard the ball screen very well, and, and uh, they just got downhill. I mean, we, we, did, we had very little resistance, and, and it all starts with them making some shots early and uh, getting us stretched out, and we just didn't stay disciplined enough to, to, to keep things together. And, and uh, it snowballed on us a little bit, uh, but that's, that's where it all stemmed from. Doug Wilson's your leading scorer, but do you miss him just as much defensively as you do offensively? Oh, I think, Zim, you've seen us play enough, man. You, I, I think you can answer that question for us. How did you adjust to not having to on both ends today? Yeah, you know, offensively, obviously, you look at Matt Dentlinger's stats, I don't think we adjusted very much. I mean, he maybe had a little bit more opportunities, but we still did a good job of playing inside out. That wasn't the problem. Offensively was not the issue. Um, but he does. He, he, he's, from day one, I've talked about how Doug is so versatile defensively. Um, but but I, I say that, and, and, and we miss Doug a lot. But But – we have guys on the floor that are capable. And um, we just didn't, you know, it, it was the first time playing without them, so maybe it was a little bit of an adjustment. But, but it was still, they made shots early, and, and we got spread out. And, and Doug, when, when that happens, sometimes Doug can cover for some guys because he is a very good athlete and very good defensive player. And we didn't have that, but still we could have done some things to, to play a little better. Again, scoring 84 points, hitting three, 13 three-pointers, Without him in the lineup, I mean, is there maybe a silver lining there for the rest of your guys? I mean, I don't think there's any silver linings, to be real frank with you. I mean, uh, offense hasn't been our issue the last month. And um, defensively, that's where we just, we just didn't have it. We, we got spread out, and, and our guys, um, we just weren't disciplined enough to stay intact 
and, and not let that ball get downhill. You see they got four, you know, 14 assists, six turnovers. That's not winning basketball from defensively as I'm talking. And, and so that is that's is what it is. I mean, just it is what it is. How's Brandon? He's getting there. You know, it's good to see him back out there. I think everybody understands he's not quite 100 percent, but he needs to get back out there and start to get that feel again. And, and um, he can really help us impact, impact, especially on that defensive end of the floor. You know, um, he, he's, he's proven to be a very, very good defender in this league especially when he's very, you know, healthy. And uh, we'll get him there. He's certainly not 100%, but it's getting stronger, and he'll get there. Do you want to move him back into the starting lineup? How much do you like what Alex has done for you? Time will tell. You know, that's, that's you know, we, we got to get him back into, you know, our mix and our rotation and see how we play with him, how we play without him. Certainly not making any decisions about that right now. You mentioned Matt Detlinger. Talk to me about his performance tonight, especially stepping up, being the big man down there. Yeah, obviously, you look at his stat line, that's pretty incredible. You know, what was 20, I don't know how many, 26, I think, but seven assists, zero turnovers. I mean, when, when the ball touches his hands or anybody's hands, when we throw that into the post, I, I think that would be one thing you can see from our team that we've probably grown the most throughout this year, certainly on the offensive end and playing inside out and the shots were taken. Um, but Matt, Matt was obviously carried a little bit more of the load with Doug being out, and he certainly delivered. When do you think Doug might be back? I mean, we're, it's day to day. You know, it's it's uh, he, he he's running around a little bit, so there's there's a chance that he plays Wednesday. Um, he he wanted to play today. You know, he he wanted to play today. He's a competitor. Everybody kind of knows what this game's all about, you know, the in-state rivalry, even though this would have been his first time in it. It's you, you, crazy if you don't know what it's all about, the energy and stuff like that. So um, we're hoping to get him back Wednesday, but uh, time will tell. I'm not going to – I would never – whether it's Doug or any of our players, I would never put him in a position the, to, to maybe do more damage or something. Hagedorn and Amude, the duo is really tough to guard. And you did a nice job on Amude in the first half, but Hagedorn kind of went off. And then the second half, Simpson uh, had a great afternoon. What about the Coyotes offense made it so hard to uh, contain? Well, I mean, I, everybody talks about everybody talks about Hags and everybody talks about Amude, and rightfully so. They're very good players. But the most important t person on this team might be Tristan Simpson. I think a lot of Coyote fans would probably agree with me. They, everybody saw how much better they played last year when Coach Lee moved him back to the point guard and st he started running their team. And, and so, I mean, that's obviously stating the obvious. We knew he was a really good player. <laughs> he, he was in the same boat as Brandon. You know, they were working him back and getting him healthy, and it was just a matter of time. And, and obviously, he performed very, very well tonight. And they did a good job of getting him to his right hand, and Coach Lee runs good plays to get him there. And then, and then obviously, Hags, like I talked about before, he hit some shots early, and, and it just got to spread out.